Six in just two days, the Environmental Protection Agency will lay out its plan to clean up water contamination on Elkhart's northeast side. Now, problems were discovered at the Lane Street Superfund site back in 2007. WSBT 22's Elkhart County reporter Ed Ernstis explains the price tag of the cleanup could be as high as $11 million. Ron Witt lives on Elkhart's northeast side near the Lane Street Superfund site. He's aware of the contamination problem. While it doesn't directly affect him, it does impact his neighbors. Kind of laid on the back of my mind and everything else, but being that we're on city water and stuff, I'm not really too actually concerned, but yet it does lay in the back of my mind. Like to possibly see how it would get cleaned up. The Lane Street Groundwater Superfund site is roughly bounded by Cooper Drive and Ada Drive on the north and stretches just south of Marina Drive and County Road 106. Problems in the area were initially discovered more than eight years ago. In two, August of 2007, a private resident tested their water well and found high concentrations of volatile organic compounds in their well water. Since then, more problems were discovered and the EPA took steps to put affected homes on city water. The EPA has now formulated plans to deal with the contamination. Those plans will be unveiled at a public meeting Wednesday evening. At the public meeting, the EPA plans to lay out what it knows about the area, what it has found, and possible steps that it could take to clean up the contamination and a possible time frame for that. One possibility to take no action, second to take minimal action and monitor the water, third doing a bioremediation. So they would put microorganisms down into the groundwater to potentially eat the contamination. And the fourth would be that they pump it out, treat the groundwater, and then put it back in. Ed Ernstis, WSBT 22 News. Well, the public meeting is this Wednesday at 6.30 at Eastwood Elementary School. Some big honors for local Boy Scouts and supporters.